Hey, Scott. Hi. Hey, Ranjit. How are you? I'm from Refinitiv. Uh, can I get a moment of your time, if you don't mind? Absolutely. Okay. Just wanted to, you know, have a short discussion with you on the trends in the industry around cloud. Uh, as you know, Refinitiv is a data provider in the financial services sector. Absolutely. And uh, we were interested to know that what are the big trends you are seeing, especially in the financial services sector for cloud? Oh man, I think um, the gloves are off when it comes to cloud and financial <laughs> services. I think obviously people are familiar with the fact that fintech companies um, are heavy users of cloud. Yep. Um, it's new tools that are being used uh, by new companies to build new businesses. Yep. In fact, if you look at, at the Forbes FinTech 50, which is kind of a very popular list, 100% of those organizations use the cloud. In fact, they use AWS. Um, but what I think many people don't understand is that transformation of the industry is well underway. In fact, if you look at large enterprises in financial services, all of them today have cloud as a major part of their IT strategy. So yeah. cloud is, is really the new normal when it comes to technology and financial services from, from core systems all the way up to machine learning, AI, it's all being used and it's all being done in the cloud. Perfect. That sounds you know, very promising because uh, we are also making some bold steps in that direction. Uh, do you think that apart from the traditional drivers for cloud adoption, which have been mostly around you know, storing or using computing power of the cloud, do you think now it's shifting more towards using cloud for the ability to innovate faster and more frequently? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know, many people in the early stages of cloud adoption always look to cost. Yeah. And so that's obviously looking at the basic building block components around storage and compute. And, and, and understanding that there's going to be a cost savings yeah. uh, available in the cloud. Yeah. But really when we work more in depth with customers over time, they point to the business value the, of, of agility yeah. and being able to innovate faster, yeah. being able to actually deliver products to market much quicker and to respond to market demands and the needs of their, of their customers. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty much in line with you know, what we are hearing from our customers as well. Uh, just one more question for you around What's the future for cloud as you see for the financial services? Well, I think, I think cloud is the future in financial services from the standpoint of technology. I think more and more you're going to see large financial institutions moving away from owning their own data centers and infrastructure and moving more to the cloud. Number one, because of the business agility and the benefits that you receive there. And because that's really how you're going to drive innovation by being able to leverage and use new technology. So I think the future for cloud um, is, is to be the underpinnings of the financial industry around the world. Great. So how did you find the FinTech Festival at Singapore? Did you see something very interesting that you wouldn't have expected? It's always fantastic to be here. I think MAS uh, and the Singapore government uh, throw a fantastic festival every year. And the reason for that is because they bring a lot of energy they bring a lot of new thought and innovative thought, and, and it's it's very encouraging to come here every year and see how the industry is moving. And every year, year over year, you can see the incremental changes in the industry. Yeah. If you came last year, it was about blockchain, and blockchain yeah. was is kind of the central focus. This year, it's about AI and machine learning. And when you when you when you came and tapped me on the shoulder, we were standing in front of um, our digital agent that we created using Amazon Sumerian. Uh, which is our version of uh, augmented reality, yeah. um, and the benefits that you can uh, receive from the standpoint of building digital agents using that. Across the festival this year, you've seen a focus on digital agents and AI in financial services. I think that's going to continue to be a hot trend, and it's been great to see um, MAS and the Singapore FinTech Festival really promoting that use case and, and talking about it in a very real and meaningful way, and not just kind of science not fiction. Just, yeah. So there's just not just buzzwords anymore, it's all becoming real. Yeah, and that tends to be the theme when you when you come to FinTech Festival, where they take these broad themes that are talked about broadly in the industry that are buzzwords, and they do a fantastic job of building content that really brings it down to reality and, and to applicable use cases. Yeah. Why don't we have some coffee? If you... Ah, fantastic, <laughs> cheers. Cheers.